Hey YouTube, so the ultimate waterproof strike anywhere match. I came up with this idea last night. I was trying to figure out something to do with this kind of useless color duct tape. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand, but this stuff is just kind of crappy. It's really stretchy. You can try to rip it with your fingers, but it just stretches and it's, look at that. That's just nasty stuff. So what is it good for? Well, I saw some fire starting videos online. They said you could use duct tape to start a fire. And I thought, well, that's okay. But I think the best idea, so far at least that I've heard of, is uh, I'm about to show you guys. So what I did is I took a uh, diamond strike anywhere match. And, uh, you know, we all know what these look like. White phosphorus, red phosphorus, you know, good old strike anywhere. So what I did is I took some duct tape like so and of course I can't rip it really so you gotta grab your knife tear yourself off good old chunk and then you kinda wrap it around and I try to get the tape on the base of the red on the match and then you wanna taper it so you have it starting out thin and then this way it gets progressively thicker and thicker, oh, excuse me, it gets thicker and thicker as you wrap it. So it kind of spirals. That way uh, it's easier to ignite thin duct tape than really thick duct tape. And so now, with our wrapped up match like that, we can uh, put it in our candle, put it in our wax, and this one hasn't been burning for that long, so let's see if I can get any uh, wax in there without igniting my match, huh? There we go. It's just kind of, you know, it's same as always with any uh, wax method for waterproofing a, a match. So there we go. Kind of messy, but uh, not too bad. So we'll let this dry and then uh, go out and show you guys how this works. Now, while that's drying, I want to show you an improvement that I've also made to this design. So you can do that if you only have these kinds. But let's say, like me, you have a box of these. The green light diamond strike on the box matches. Kind of useless for camping since, they're, again, they're strike on the box. If they get wet, they're, you know, useless. So what I did is I took one of these. So, excuse me, you actually will need these strike anywheres. But sometimes that duct tape can have trouble igniting. So I took a strike anywhere match, and then I took one of these strike on the box matches, and I staggered them like this, just like that. So that way when the strike anywhere match ignites, it will ignite the strike on the box match. Well, that's pretty cool. Now, let's take our duct tape and do what we did before. So cutting myself off a strip of duct tape and the more duct tape you have on there the uh, the longer it will burn so I'm just you know using a small piece like this for the video but uh, my other matches have bigger chunks of duct tape on them and so then as they're staggered like that cover the green but don't cover the strike anywhere so you can see just like that wrap this over and then like I said before spiral wrap the matches so that way it's thinner where the flame will start and then it gets progressively thicker tighten it up be sure everything's all snug good to go and then we go back to our candle and we soak it in wax make it waterproof oh, almost got my candle out there Alright, there we go. So we waterproof this. Now when your candle's been burning longer, you'll have more wax to work with. I don't have a whole lot of wax to work with. Uh, so that way you can coat the length of the match. And then it'll be even better. But for the sake of this video, you know, I'm just gonna do what I can with what I have. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Here's the other one before. Side by side comparison. This stuff really goes when it's like this. Because again, you've got the strike anywhere, strike on the box, and the duct tape and it burns really good. This one's pretty good too, but uh, yeah, so let's go outside and I'll show you
how these two designs work. Cool. All right, here we are outside with our matches. Today, I'm, or I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Here's the strike on the box match. And then we've got the wax coated strike anywhere. Strike anywhere wrapped in duct tape and then wax coated. And the dual match with the strike anywhere, strike on the box, wrapped in duct tape and then wax coated. Kind of the super match. So I'm just gonna show you guys all four and how they perform. So here we've got the uh, strike anywhere. Not too bad. We all know how these burn, so I'm not gonna waste time on that. Then we've got the wax coated strike anywhere. <laughs> Guess I got the camera on that one. Anyway, there you go. There's that guy burning. Not too bad. Of course with the wax on it, it's gonna burn a little bit better than uh, other things. We can see that now, you know, still pretty strong burn. All right, let me set the camera back down. Kind of a drizzly day here in Washington, but uh, not too big of a deal. Now here we've got the duct tape coated strike anywhere wax. Let's see. Once that duct tape gets going, man, it's really, really strong burning. Just gonna let this thing burn so you guys can see what I mean. That is all duct tape. Of course, it'll start to drip. There we go. Not too bad. All right, now let's see how the uh, this last one does here. This is again that super match. And uh, yeah, all right. Gotta love walkthroughs. Just go ahead and walk in. There's the second match going. Keep it away from the remains of the other one. Put this up so you guys can see. So yeah, if you wrap this thing in more duct tape, uh, you'll have a way stronger burn. But um, yeah, I was really impressed with the, this match's performance. So yeah, there you go. Of course, it does leave kind of this plastic residue, but that's no big deal. Anyway, yeah, so coming to you from rainy, drizzly Washington. There you go, folks.